Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 19, verses 22 to 24. The Word of God says, Finally he himself left for Ramah and went to the great cistern at Seku, and he asked, Where are Samuel and David? Over in Naioth at Ramah. So Saul went to Naioth at Ramah, but the Spirit of God came on him, and he walked along prophesying until he came to Naioth. He stripped off his garments, and he too prophesied in Samuel's presence. He lay naked all that day and all that night. This is why people say, Is Saul also among the prophets? Uh, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, we know that it's the power of your word that changes hearts. Help us to be filled by your spirit and anointed with your word in our hearts, in our minds, and on our tongues that somehow you would use us in some small way to bring salvation to the lost. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Saul is tired of sending men and them falling into the uh, rebuke, uh, fall, falling and not doing what he's told him to do. He comes himself to get David. He comes and he seeks David and he, he is on the way to get him. And the Bible says, uh, So Saul went to Naioth at Ramah, but the Spirit of God came on him, and he walked along prophesying until he came to Naioth. The Spirit of God is what moved Saul. He comes upon and he's prophesying and, and he prophesies in Samuel's presence. Samuel is the man who was standing with the prophets when the first group of soldiers came. The second group comes. The third group comes. Samuel is there. And so he is someone who is both filled by the Spirit and walking in the Spirit and also proclaiming the Word of God. And Saul comes upon that and he's moved. Beloved, uh, you know, I, I, what I remember once uh, years ago, I, I was uh, talking to uh, someone who uh, was trying to enter into ministry and he had some um, strange ideas about saving people. And so he was would tell me, um, uh, you know, uh, I go to the bars uh, and I, I want to talk to people about Jesus and they're drinking beer. So I drink beer with them so that I'm, so they'll see that I'm just a regular person too. And he said, what do you think about that? And I, I just, it broke my heart. I said, you know, uh, I, I don't think that's right. I don't think that you earn a hearing for the gospel by entering into sin. I don't think you earn a, a hearing of the gospel by doing what other people do. We earn a hearing of the gospel from us when we are spirit-filled and spirit-led and saying the word of God. Saul comes upon and begins to prophesy, and then he's prophesying all day in front of Samuel. Beloved, what do, what do we need? We need to be people of the Word of God and filled by the Holy Spirit because sinners will come upon us and it's not going to be us that changes them. It's the Spirit of God that changes them. It's not persuasive words. It's God's Word. You know, uh, if, if you've got a pencil, Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23, Romans 5, 8, and Romans 10, 9, and 10. These are verses that uh, are the gospel. It's called the Romans Road in evangelism. And, and I use them a lot. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, Romans 3, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, Romans 6, 23. But God commended his love toward us, and while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth 
the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe in thy heart that God has raised him, that thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made in salvation. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Those verses give us the gospel. And it's those verses, the word of God, that saves people. It's not me. But if we don't have the word of God, then we're trying to do it ourselves. If we're not filled by the Spirit, then we're trying to do it ourselves, and we fail. It's God's power and God's Spirit that changes hearts and saves people. May God bless you as you go about your day.